What's good, everybody? It's your main man, as an enzyme in the house. And all right, guys, I haven't been on Shinobi Striker topics in a while, but today I want to come back because of the bad news from the beta. And this game has been quieted down ever since the beta. And so we already know that it's going to be an extended beta. So I want to talk about all the good and the bad about Shinobi Striker before anything happens, before people say, oh, I'm not even going to download this beta, or when the game fully releases, they're not going to even buy the game. So, I want to talk about all the good from the close and the previous open beta. And I'm going to give you guys the good, the bad, and everything in between. And alright guys, let's get right into this. Alright guys, now let's talk about the good about Shinobi Strikers. Alright, so the main good thing about Shinobi Strikers is, is the character creation that's in this game. See, the character creation game is the first not, well, sorry guys, excuse me. This is the first Naruto game that has character creation. So basically how the Xenoverse series has started off and became super popular, stuff like that. Xenoverse 1 wasn't really that tilted towards fighting. And then Xenoverse 2 became tilted towards fighting. But let's take into consideration since this is the first character creation Naruto game. It opened up new possibilities. You can see different things just like how the Xenoverse series had did it. So I actually enjoy that quality of how... They have done that in Shinobi Strikers, even in the closed and open beta. Because you played the open beta, they actually had new characteristics uh, that you can customize on your character from how the closed beta was. So, I just wanted to get in that topic because I know that's the first thing on everybody's mind is, is character creation. But let's go to the second topic. Alright guys, now the second good thing about this game is, it's a community game. It's not too competitive in certain aspects, but it still has that competitiveness when you finally learn different combos and combo it in against my opponent. But, it's a community game. So that means casuals and advanced players can all enjoy this game together. So it's not really heavy towards like how the Storm series were, where, oh, okay, it's like a ranking system. This one is mainly towards if you want to have fun with some randoms or if you're with your friends, you can just chillax on like a Friday or Saturday night and you can go into it. This might not be like a main game, but think about it. It's an online only game. And even if the game gets tiresome at times, most of the time gamers like me will feel bored and just play the game just because they have nothing else to do. So even if the game like let's say dies out a little bit it's still a game where you can have still new experiences with new players around the whole entire Naruto community you can probably pick up some techniques from this as well so I just want to make that pretty brief because it's kind of obvious that it's a community game like it's a new game I think everybody in the storm and Naruto community is gonna play this game when it comes out alright guys next I like to discuss the ninjutsu so this ninjutsu for each and every single class and so Every Naruto fan out there always wanted to have a Rasengan, but without Naruto. I don't know if that's just me, but I know there's a few out there who thought about that. And like, the Storm series, they did an okay job with Storm 4 when um, one character, let's say you had Sage Mode Naruto, can use like massive Rasengan and stuff like that. Or let's just say you had Sasuke, but then he can use, um, it was like a teleporting Chidori. I don't know the name of it, but I apologize guys for not knowing that because that's on my part. But at least in this game, you can customize based on what class you want. And in between game, you can even custom, you can even switch between the class you want. So this game gives a whole new meta because you will have to have new fighting styles in between for each class. Let's say you're masterful on every single class and you know how to use them perfectly. Uh, and you can switch in between and then the opponent have to change how they fight you. Because there has been moments when I had a healer class and I, and I frankly don't like healer in this game. But there has been moments, and I actually 3v1. I don't know how, but it has been done. So each tactic is different for each character, each class you do. So that's also like a mini meta that the game offers to it. So that's also one of the good parts I had wanted to discuss. But with all the good parts, there's going to be some bad parts. So I'm going to talk about that next. Alright guys, so I talked about the main three good aspects. Now let's talk about the main three bad aspects that is in Shinobi Striker that they need to change before the game releases and before the next open beta. Alright, so the main issue that they really need to touch upon is their server. The server can make or break a game. So, no matter what type of game, even if the game is extremely good, the server is going to make the game look like it's even worse than what it should be. So, that's for any game, not just Shinobi Striker. There has been moments like even in my closed beta, because I didn't really get inside the open beta 
because it was too many people over there. See, that's the main issue over there. But if you can't have a online only game supported in the in your own server, that's kind of a big issue for everyone. Because that means it might be good matches that you experience, but overall, it's going to be like more bad matches. So let's say like one out of five, you're going to have a good match with no lag. And then the other four is going to be straight connection issue. So that's going to be the main issue that I need to work on. Sorry, guys. But as I was doing this part of the video, when I was focusing on the servers part, I just realized that that's mainly the only big issue that's in this game. Because other than the servers, the game itself is really put well together for, for a new concept of Naruto. It's actually pretty creative. But I already said how the servers are messed up, so I can't really talk about that again. But I guess that's the main issue or almost only issue that this game has. But I'm not for sure about all the other issues, but some of you guys have experienced a lot more. So... If you guys want, you guys can comment that down below. But the only issue I can come up with and think about mainly out of the good that I have seen from this game is just how the servers are. But there is one last thing I want to talk about. That this game does have a lot to offer even more than just the good parts. Alright guys, so the game can offer a lot more than just the good topics I already talked about in this video. It can offer the gateway of even more new good Naruto games. So this game might be eh, mediocre at best to some, even even me maybe later. But that doesn't mean down the line in the future this game can be one of the top. Let's say it like this, like how I was talking about in this video earlier about Xenoverse a little bit. Well, Xenoverse 1, it wasn't really that dubbed into a fighting. It was just mainly a creation game. But then when they had the second one, the second one it is massively greater than the first one in comparison. It they have improved like the fighting mechanics of it to such a degree where you can you can barely recognize the first game, but you can know it from how the customization is. It's the skill. So we're focusing too. I feel like we're focusing too much as a Naruto community only on the bad aspects of this game. There are good qualities of this game too, and also. This game also offers up a lot more teamwork in the Naruto community. Because there's a lot of people in the Naruto community that like to talk stuff about each other. Remember at Storm, if you go into a ranked match and then uh, you lose or you win, you have all those people who will literally disconnect their game or unplug their game or leave and you will not get any points. Well, in this game, you can't really do that. If somebody leaves, then that's a greater loss for their whole entire team and you still win and level up and get your points. So, this game has done aspects that other Storm games haven't pulled or took from. So, this game does have a lot more to offer than even the things I'm talking about now. It offers up a repairness in the Naruto community. Because you can even build friendships in this game. Which I actually have. I have gained so many subscribers and friends just by talking about this game and doing discussions. And there are so many other people in the Naruto community. Like Afro Sinju, Ray Metalcore... Natsuji, uh, those people may have grown a little bit from this game, especially Afro. Afro has seen this game so many times that it's interchangeable, and I feel inspired to do Shinobi Striker's video just because of his videos. So, alright guys, I know I'm getting a little too off topic with this subject, but if you guys took anything from this video, I will appreciate it. Thank you guys, because guys... We are the community that makes a change in the Storm community. I know that kind of didn't make sense, but I'm going to go with that. Because, guys, you can make a difference. You can talk to Bandai. We can make surveys. It's stuff like that. The small things can change and make even bigger, greater things. I learned from somebody, if you think pennies, you get pennies. If you think dollars, you get dollars. But, all right, guys. I hope to see you guys later. I hope to make more Shinobi Strikers videos. And if any of you guys like this video, please like and share to all your friends. And may even subscribe if you guys actually truly like this type of content that I do. But alright guys, and alright Storm community, as it ends is out.